slice down in the red zone. I mean, I think you can slice it which way you want to slice it. That was the that was the big the big factor in the game. Um, they did a good job of of you know keeping everything uh, tight on, inside the box um, and making it hard for us to be able to get into the end zone. And then um, you know when you when you settle for a couple of field goals and out that fourth down we didn't get it um, early in the game. You know that's the difference in the game. Uh, you know, and I think. You know, there was there was things that happened throughout the game that obviously, you know, if you do a little bit better, you you got a chance to win, and uh, we didn't get it done. So, you know, you know Chip had Coach Martin and his staff and what they they were able to do to to get that win. Um, you know, but again, just very disappointed in um, you know in our in the outcome of that game. Yeah, was there anything specific in the red zone that they were doing? Seven trips, one touchdown. Uh I don't, not, not really. I mean, I think it was playing the same defense that they played. You know, they showed it in there. And, um, you know, we didn't do a good job of, of finding ways to get in the zone. And uh, I thought we were, a couple of times I thought we were there and uh, just didn't get in. Um, you know, Corey gets in there and then Emory scores and uh, on a cue draw that got in. Um, you know, but uh, but other than that, we really didn't do a whole lot down in there. I mean, I should go back and watch the tape. But, um, you know, I thought they did a really nice job up front. Um, and their, their linebacks were playing downhill to stop the run game there, and um, we just couldn't couldn't spit any out to the end zone. Brian, defensively, Blaine Gabbert had uh, nine rushes for 132 yards. What did you see from the defense out of bounds in the game that they showed up? Yeah, I mean, I, he certainly hurt us with his legs. Um, you know, I thought there were times we were playing man to man coverage, and you know, we're, we're doubling number 10, and you know, so you got an extra guy outside of the box, and then whenever he broke containment the line, uh, you know, line of scrimmage, he's going to be able to get some yards. And that, that really hurt us quite a bit, obviously, um, you know, there in the overtime. And then there was a couple of third downs where I thought he went, and, you know, got first downs there. And it's really just, you know, our D line just standing, you know, in their lanes there and creating too much upfield. And then all of a sudden he just spits it out of a gap or B gap. And that, that was that was a big part of their game. I thought Gavin played great uh, in the running game and you know, threw some balls down the field that were obviously, um, you know, big time throws. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. That's hard to say. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on at, at that point in time. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, really the only one I really remember is that last one there. Um, you know, but we got a couple penalties down there. I mean, they called, you know, lineman downfield on that one. We're on a two yard line. I, I don't know how you call that really, but, um, you know, and, 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 and then we get a penalty there, we back it up, we get back to the two, we got a, we got a holding penalty, it goes back, we get back in there, you know. And we were battling right there, just just didn't find a way to get in there. So I, it's hard to say about Emory. I mean, I thought, other than a couple of decisions, I thought he played really good. I thought he played gutsy tonight, he ran the ball hard, um, made some great throws. Um, I don't know, I mean, he rushed for 101 yards, looks like here, and threw the ball pretty nice. I think, you know, he liked to have the pick right before half back. When he, when, he, when he threw that pick, but other than that, I thought he played very solid. Well, absolutely not. Um, you know, we there's a miscommunication in, in the coverage on that on that play, and um, you know, uh, no, you ask anybody in our locker room who we had to defend. It was number ten. Our whole team knew that. Offense players, it didn't you know, it didn't matter. So that was a miscommunication. They they hit that one on us. Um, you know, but then after that, really, we kind of settled down. I thought we played solid on defense, other than the, the Q scrambles. Um, and then the one drive when they hit, um, they had called two PIs on, on our guys, and they hit uh, hit the fade ball on our sideline. But other than that, I thought our guys played solid. Running game really didn't pick off till the second half, right? Mm -hmm. About 46 seconds. So, I mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I thought, you know, you know, like we said in the past, you know, we're going to, whoever's got the hot hand's going to be in there. And I thought he, you know, did a good job of seeing it and running hard, breaking tackles. Um, you know, we got our Q, Q run game involved with that as well. You know, two guys rushed for over 100. So, I mean, the second half, it started clicking a little bit better. Um, you know, and, and of course, throughout the game, they're making adjustments on defense. We're making adjustments on offense. Um, you know, and I thought, um, you know, again, we moved the ball. I mean, we had a lot of, a lot of yards, which you got to get a lot of points. You know, I think that's the big difference in the game. A couple downfield PIs last week, again this week. Is there something there teams are, are picking on? Or, or I mean, they're trying. They're trying to throw the ball one-on-one -on -one down the sideline. I thought J.Y. was in good shape. It was right on our sideline, and he, he turns back, looks for the ball, and, they, and they're both jockeying for position. He turns back, and we get the call. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know, you know. It's, it's frustrating, um, you know, and they throw a touchdown pass in overtime, you know, and, you know, and he gets their jockey in and he gets knocked down and they catch the touchdown. And it's just, 
you know, it's frustrating to, you know, what are we supposed to tell the corners? You know, how, how are you supposed to play that? So we got to do a better job of playing the ball and, um, and obviously keeping our feet. And, you know, when guys are attacking us down the field, which, I mean, you, you're right. I mean, we're seeing that. We're going to continue to see it. Um, where guys are going to, you know, one-on-one down the sideline um, and try to try to make, you know, make make pay in that way. Because, you know, as, as they're thinking, you're going to get a PI or a potential catch, you know, why not throw it down the sidelines? We got to do a better job of, of you know, defending those passes. Yeah, I mean, they were, they were packing it in the box there, and that's why it was difficult to run the football. I mean, it was one on one outside, so we were trying to take advantage of that against their corners, uh, you know. And, and he did a nice job all night of catching the ball and underneath, and you know, getting some good yards on that. And they were able. That's you know, I think we got a lot of first downs and moved the ball down the field again. That wasn't the issue. I mean, the issue was again in the red zone, um, you know, trying to score touchdowns. I mean, that's what it came down to. Fourth and nine, we um, did the fake punt. Uh, what went into it? Mm-hmm. What, what field call? Well, we, you know, we had punted a couple of times earlier than that. We saw how they were lined up, and it looked looked like it would be there. Um, I thought that was a good time to call it because you're backed up on the minus twenty or whatever we were. Um, nobody's thinking you're going to fake it. And you know, and and you know, we got the look. And Shimon did a great job of hitting it and blocked it up. And you know, he gave us a chance. You know, and, and you know, we're trying to win the game. I think maybe two forty in the clock, maybe at that point in time. Um, we get the ball down. We melt the clock all the way down. Just got knock, you know, knock down the field goal, and we get a block. I mean, that was that was obviously a big play because you, you know, knock that one down. You know, it's going to be ball game, and you know, we're all having a, a different conversation right now. Two sacks from the UC defense tonight. What was not quite? Not clicking quite mm-hmm. as well in the pass rush. Well, I, I think they were, you know, number one, I think they get rid of the ball pretty quick. Um, you know, do a good job of a hey, catch and throw. Um, you know, we were able to get to him a couple of times. And, and then the other thing I thought that he did a really nice job of moving around in the pocket. You know, you know, we're we're trying to get in our rush lanes, our guys are getting up the field. You know, he's shot sliding one side or the other, stepping up, making some plays. I, I you know, you gotta give credit to him. He, he did a good job of stepping up and really running and getting those first downs. Um you know, which made it a little bit more difficult in our because we're playing man outside and, and trying to double some guys so you got a light box. There were a lot of teams that were sluggish today. How do you recover from that? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's um, it's very disappointing, obviously. You know, we, we got to go back and, you know, regroup, look at ourselves in the mirror, start right with me, um, and and what can we do to, to get better? Um, and that's what we got to do. We start Big 12 play next week. We know that. We got an outstanding team coming in next week, Oklahoma. Um, they do a great job, and, and you know they're riding high right now and, and playing really well. So we have to come in and have a great week. Um, you know, there's no time to have a pity party and start feeling sorry for ourselves. I can tell you that. You know, we got we got to come in in, in the morning and get to work. Is there any indication this week in practice that that you know it's such a new team and so many new guys that maybe believed in themselves a little too much after the way the season? Yeah, started? I mean, I don't know. I thought we had a good week of practice. I mean, I thought we really got after it. I thought. Um, you know, I thought guys were, were focused, uh, you know, and, and we did some really good things this week in practice. I mean, there was a lot of intensity there. We, we talked about, you know, the importance of this game all week. Uh, our guys knew what we were getting coming into. And, um, you know, it's just we didn't we didn't play good enough to win. There's a bottom line. I mean, again, red zone, you know, blocked field goal. I mean, you know, there's a couple of things we can point to that, that we would have got the win. It would be a lot different right now. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.